My fellow Nerdikins, welcome back to another episode of That's So Nerdy. Today we have another gameplay video for you, and we are playing the uh, Blue Vegito uh, Godhood Transcended against Go Tanks Extravagant Assault. Good little uh, father son versus match. This uh, actually was a really uh, fun game to play. This is, I think, Tommy's second or third time playing Go Tanks, and this is probably like my fourth or fifth time playing this version of Vegito. Um, I tried playing a couple other variations of him, uh, a few engines run behind him before, and it just didn't work out that well. So, uh, I mean, that is what it is, though. Um, I really like this variation though. It seems to work out a lot better and it's, uh, it's, it's a mid-rangey deck. I don't think it's like anything super special, especially since I don't have a uh, God's healing technique. Um, I just can't bring myself to pay the price tag or what, what they're charging for it right now. Um. Because I need a whole playset of it, so I don't really want to fork out that much money. Because I got, you know, kids to take care of at home. But uh, I went first to play Dr. Rota um, and past turn. And I really actually, I actually really like Vegito because I think he has the best awakening effect in probably in the whole game, honestly. Because if your one of your yellow or yellow, excuse me, if one of your blue battle cards is removed from the battlefield or KO'd, you get to awaken. I believe you draw two and awaken. I think, or no, you, yeah, you, uh, you draw two, and then Doctor Rota, he has blocker, and when he's KO'd, you get to restand an energy. So Tommy goes for the swing, I block with Dr. Rota, trigger his ability, and then trigger Vegito's ability to awaken, and then bam. Already awakened with 8 life. If you don't have to, boom, and then I'm gonna, he passes turn, I play out my unison, freeze and sell, match made in hell. Honestly, uh, I really think this is the only uh, leader that really makes that that unison viable at all and it's still only like semi good all right well i'm swinging in with the vegeta proc is auto to swing in for double strike and if you guys could uh double strike that like button or no don't double strike it that'll unlike it just single strike scratch that just hit that like button be much appreciated subscribe if you're new here and tickle that bell if you want to see more stuff like this so uh, he decided to super combo even though he didn't get the draw or anything because he didn't for whatever reason he didn't want to go down to four life Gotenks does have the secondary awakening condition of playing a two drop unison oh excuse me oh sorry about that of playing a two drop unison which it doesn't look like he has in his hand, actually. Yeah, so he is going to play out this Go Tanks. And then uh, the Trunks that he pitched to Fusion for the Go Tanks allows him to search out uh, Unison from the top seven. And if I'm not mistaken, I think he whiffs. Pretty sure he would, yeah, he whiffs, which is a huge bummer because in this Go Tank set, you want your unison on the board turn two every time because that's one of your. Uh, I, I want to say main, but I also want to say secondary win cons, but uh, the unison is a really, really prominent win con for uh, where the Go Tanks stay. Because I've seen games where the uh, the minus seven has been proc, 
and the opponent still manages to come out of it uh, okay. But I've also seen games where like, oh, nope, minus seven is proc, and that game is over. So like, it's not a guaranteed win. You just have to play it correctly, of course. But uh, not not seeing it early is kind of rough. It's never good when uh, you're running a deck that wants to see its unison and you don't see your unison. So he uh, used Gokul to bring out the Grim Reaper of Justice. And then I'm using my super combo because it is live since I have a unison on the board. That's uh, Trunks battling against forces of evil. Anytime I'm playing a... Uh, deck that likes to awaken early uh, before reaching 4 life, I try to play a super combo that you can play as soon as you have a unison on board, because most of the time, I want my unisons out early. Everybody kind of does, depending on what you're really going for, but most of the time you want your unisons out as early as possible. So now I'm going to swing in with my unison. And he doesn't counter, so I proc my leader's activate battle ability, pay two to give my unison triple strike. I think it just gives it triple strike, or no, it gives it an attack boost also, I believe. Maybe 5k? Or is it a big attack boost? I can't remember at the moment. I really apologize about that. But either way, it's, it's a nice big swing going in for triple strike so I take him right down to two life from five it's a hard hit for him but he took it and then I swing in with Goku rock his ability to give him 15k in crit and then he awakens because I chose not to combo up Then he combos up one of his Gotenks. Which, honestly, uh, looking at what's in his hand is probably pretty smart. So now I swing with the Vegeta. He doesn't counter. I believe he doesn't counter. It doesn't counter, so I proc Vegeta's ability to take a life and swing 15k double. And I don't combo up past that. And he, he shows the boo, but he meant to throw out a super combo. Which, I that gave me a good laugh at the time. I was like, oh, oops. <laughs> now he's looking for what to warp. And as you can see, there's a, a backwards card in his hand. That's how we proxy in our SCRs, because we don't like to just play these casual matches with the SCRs. Uh, we like to save that for like when we're actually going to locals or playing legit style but for these casual matches we'll proxy in the SCR and then uh, when we actually play it we'll put the real card on the board so shocking death ball to counter my leader swing and then he's going to pop the Goku I couldn't remember which one he wanted but I, probably pretty smart to get rid of the crit swing and then I proc my leader's ability because Goku was KO to draw a card and restand one energy and now it is Tommy's turn three. And I feel pretty good. I got two open energy. I'm pretty sure I have a counter. I just saw a sense of being. I'm pretty sure I have a counter play and a counter attack in my hand that I can utilize. But we'll see uh, what I choose to do here. Or well, what he chooses to do first because he's still got a charge. Yeah, looking at his hand, it's it's probably pretty tough to choose. I'd probably choose that Gotenks, the 6 drop he already has on the board. Um, that's one thing when you're not used to playing Union Patara. Or not Union Patara, excuse me, sorry. Uh, Union Fusion is you when you're new to it, you don't really have the big, most comfort on what's okay to charge and what you want to hold on to 
And uh, that's what we see Tommy going through right now. It's, he can't. He's having a real hard time figuring out what to charge, what to, uh, what to hold on to, and. He charges the second surprise attack Frieza, which is the only other one in the deck. I honestly, now that I think about it, I don't understand why he didn't play that when he popped the Goku, when he KO'd the Goku, he could have played that out. But now he's going to activate the uh, Goku's ability to search out the fusion fodder for the Grim Reaper of Justice. Because I think he only has like half the uh, material in his hand at the moment. There we go. Oh, now he wanted to bring the trunks out because he wants to get another uh, unison in his hand. Because that's one thing that I... Uh, I've been coaching him on this Go Tanks because he has been trying more and more to play it, uh, play it more often and play it well. Is you always want to have that one unison in your hand. That way, when your opponent gets down to that last life, you can just slip that unison underneath. If uh, if it brings that uh, your unison up to seven, and then pop it to win the game. But uh, he's been riding the struggle bus hard in this match, honestly. Because now he finally gets his unison out. It is only a turn late, technically. But it feels so much later because I did manage to get him down to that two life. Whereas if he would have had the unison out there, he probably would have comboed out and tried, tried a little harder not to take that life. Alright, so I take the damage from his leader swing. He's swinging in for crit. I de-magic that. Three stand two. Now he's swinging in for 15. De-magic that. And that's gonna end his turn because he has nothing else that he can do. And I just draw that Dr. Rota that I showed everyone. But it's okay, I'm playing him out right here. Using the Unison's plus one ability. And there's... It didn't come up in this game, but the Unison also has an ability that if you bounce an opponent's uh, card back to their hand from the field, you get to draw a card and then pick a card from your hand and put it on top or bottom of your deck. So it, it is an additional like filter which can be really nice. So now since I'm at 4 life, I'm comboing off the Vegeta because uh, I like to... Uh, I, I like to... Once I hit 4 life, I don't like to take my life myself intentionally. And I'm also trying to set up my, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to set up my boss card plays for later. And here, uh, normally you would send the trunks to the drop area to rejuvenate first, but since I was popping my units in anyway to play out this Gogeta, um, I, I went ahead and just, you know, threw it out there. And then here, I'm pretty sure that I go for just a 25. Oh, that's right. I give it the triple strike also. And I'm still going. Still going. <laughs> super combo, super combo. And, uh, yeah, this, this, he's like, yeah, I get it, I get it. Yeah, I went kind of hard at the end there. But, I mean, when, you, when you've got good blue stuff, you've got good blue stuff. What are you going to do? Um, and I don't even have the best blue stuff in here, but I really, like I said before, I really like how this deck runs. And if he would have gotten better pulls, or better draws, I think it would have been, uh, a lot different. Oh, wait a second. Oh yeah, he's trying to combo out.
Yep, that's right. Okay, yeah, he didn't make it. I forgot he, I forgot he attempted and then didn't quite make it up. But, uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. If you uh, have any questions or want to see, well, I'll, I'll be posting the deck profile later, but stay nerdy.